what's up guys? I'm Dale from Creator Pro website, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move from Blogger to WordPress. So, why would you want to move from Blogger to WordPress? Well, the biggest reason is because of the flexibility and the customization that WordPress has to offer. WordPress comes with over 50,000 plugins that allow you to have infinite control over the functionality of your website. For example, let's say that you want to add an opt-in pop-up that offers your viewers a free ebook in exchange for their email. You can do that by installing a plugin in WordPress. And with WordPress, you have infinite control over the design of your website, and you can even build one in less than an hour using a drag and drop plugin. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, I'll put a link to one of my tutorials in the description that shows you step-by-step -step how to do it. But for now, let's jump into moving from Blogger to WordPress. So this is the blog that I want to move over. It's just a sample travel blog that I put together. To move this site to WordPress, we're gonna be taking four steps. Number one is to take our Blogger site and save it into a file. Next, we're gonna install WordPress to a new site. Then we're going to upload that blogger file into WordPress to display our site. Then we just need to redirect our old links to the new site. So let's start with step number one, which is to save your blogger site into a file. Let's go over to blogger and make sure that you have the correct blog selected right here up at the top left. And then just go down to settings. And then just scroll down and you'll see manage blog right here, and then you'll see backup content. Just go ahead and click on that. And then just click on download. Cool, and then it's gonna put this file right here on your computer. Okay, so now we can move on to step number two, which is to install WordPress to a new site. If you already have a WordPress site set up, then feel free to go to the description to find the timestamps, and then you can move on to step number three. Okay, so to install WordPress to a new site, we'll need to do three things. Number one is to get web hosting. Web hosting is where you store all of your website files, such as themes, plugins, pictures and video, and more. It also provides you with 24-7 customer support in case your website were to ever go down. Web hosting is 100% necessary if you want to own your own professional website. Number two is to get a domain name. And number three is to install WordPress on that new domain. So first, let's get web hosting. To do this, just click on the very first link below this video, and that will take you to a special co-branded landing page that I have with HostGator, where you'll get a massive discount on web hosting. I worked it out special for my viewers, and it's the largest discount you'll be able to find on the internet. And I do get a commission whenever you use that link, but it saves you money, and it also helps fund these free YouTube tutorials that I'm putting out. So it's a win-win, and I don't recommend anything that I don't use personally, and I host every single one of my websites with HostGator because they're fast, reliable, and have 24-7 customer support if you ever need them. So we're going to start with the cheapest plan, which is the Hatchling plan. So just go ahead and click on Buy Now. And here's where we can register a new domain name. And if you already own a domain, you can just click on this tab right here but we're gonna go ahead and get a new domain name for our new site. So I'm gonna type in traveltipsblog.com and it's gonna show you in red that it's not available. So if that happens, just go ahead and change it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna do traveltipblog.com and you can see in green that this is available. So once you've got that selected right there, just go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check the domain privacy protection down here. I highly, highly recommend this because otherwise your information like your email and phone number will be public and solicitors will be able to call you and everything. It's very frustrating. So HostGator offers this protection so that all of your information is not out in the public. So I definitely recommend keeping that checked and then just scroll down. And we're going to go over to the hatchling package type and just make sure that, that says hatchling. And then you can choose a billing cycle. So obviously, the longer that you commit to, you're going to get the largest discount. So you're only going to end up paying $2.71 a month for hosting. Now, my recommendation is to just do the 12 months. If you just want to try this out for a full year, you're still going to get more than half off doing that. But if you just want to try out WordPress, maybe you're not quite sure yet, you can also just do the one month. It's still only $7 a month. 
So now just go ahead and make a username, which I usually just use my name. And then a security pin. And then just scroll down. And here is where you can put in all of your billing info and you can use either credit card or PayPal if you want. But I've already got an account set up with HostGator, so it's got my information saved. But if not, just fill out your info and then scroll down to add additional services. And what we're gonna do is uncheck the SSL certificate. And we're also going to make sure that everything else is unchecked because I've got videos on my channel that show you how to do these things for free, like how to secure your website, how to back up your website, and even how to get a professional email for your website. So I will put those in the description in case you want to check those out. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and scroll down and make sure that your coupon code it says create a pro website, which again, I do get a commission off of this if you use this, but it also saves you money. And then just review your order and then just go all the way down to the bottom and you can just agree to the terms and then just click on check out now. And now HostGator is setting up your account, so just give that a second. Okay, so now you'll be taking your HostGator dashboard, and here is where we want to install WordPress over to our new site. Okay, so to do that, just go on over to view your dashboard. And then from here, you'll see your hosting package, and you'll likely only have one, but I've got a few. So I'm going to go to the new one that I just bought, and then I'm just going to go over and click on cPanel right here. And then from here, you'll see WordPress installer. Just go ahead and click on that. And then just select your domain. And then just click on next. And then just give your blog a title. I'm gonna call this my sample blog. And then admin user, just put your name, first name, last name and then admin email. And this can just be the same one that you use to sign up for HostGator with. And then just agree to the terms and click on install. So now WordPress is installing and this should only take a moment. And just like that, it is already done. So now what you wanna do here is save this crazy password. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight it, copy it, and I'm going to put that somewhere safe on my computer because I'm going to need that password again a little bit later. So now the way that you should get used to signing into your website is not by clicking on this little yellow login button because that's going to go away soon. What you want to do is just go up to a new window, type in your new domain name, .com forward slash WP dash admin, just like that. And that's the way that you should always get used to signing into your website. And you're going to come to a page that looks like this, or it might look like a filler page. It can look a few different ways, but if you can't get to the WordPress signup, which looks like this, then just give it 30 minutes to an hour to propagate. So propagation basically just means that HostGator has to take your new domain name and send it out to every server in the world to let them all know that, hey, this new domain name now exists. And this process can take up to 30 minutes to an hour but they say it can take up to 24 hours, but I've never actually had it take that long, usually only about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go get a haircut and come right back. All right, so we're back and it looks like the website is now good to go. Whenever you get to a page like this, you can now sign into WordPress. So just type in your username right here and then your password which we want to paste from earlier and then log in cool so now here we are inside the WordPress dashboard and it looks a little daunting so let's go ahead and just clean things up really quick so what you want to do is just hit the X on all of the windows that you see and just kind of dismiss everything There we go, and once it looks like this, it's a little less scary. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change that password to a custom one that you'll remember. So let's just go on over to users, and then all users, and then just go ahead and click on your name, 
and then just scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see generate password right here underneath account management. Just go ahead and click on that. And then just delete the password that they give you and type in your own custom one. And then just click on update profile. Okay, so now we can move on to step number three, which is to upload our blogger file into WordPress. So first, let me show you what our current WordPress website looks like. So I'm just gonna go up to my website name up here, and then I'm just gonna go to visit site and just open that up in a new window. And this is what it currently looks like, which is super boring and basic. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. And what we wanna do to actually upload our blogger content into WordPress is just go on over to tools and then go to import. Cool, and then you'll see blogger right here. And just go ahead and click on install now. And then run the importer. Cool, so from here, just go on over to choose file. And then just navigate to where our downloads were. And we're just gonna grab that file that we downloaded from earlier. And then just click on open. And then just go down to upload file and import. And then just click on submit. Cool, so now that's all done. So let's go ahead and check on our site now. So I'm gonna go up to my site name and then just open that up in a new window. And now you can see we've actually got our content on our website. And obviously it needs a little bit of help to kind of format everything, but we now have our content on our site. And our theme looked a little basic, so let me show you how to get a new theme. So to do that, just go on over to Appearance, and then go to Themes. And you can see right here, these are our current default themes. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Add New Theme right here. And if you just scroll down, you can see we've got a popular tab right here. You can just click on that and search all of the most popular themes on WordPress. But in this case, I know exactly which one I wanna use, which I highly recommend. So just go on over to the search bar and type in Astra. And then if you just scroll down, you'll see it right here, Astra. So just go ahead and install. And then click activate. Cool. So now let's go up to our website one more time and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna open this up in a new tab. Cool, and now this is looking a lot better, a lot cleaner, and it's a bit more basic. So if you want to actually edit this header content up here, all you have to do is just click on customize, and then you'll be able to put in your own logo, add a menu to the top, and all sorts of things. Okay, so now that we've moved our blogger site into WordPress, we can now move to step number four, which is to redirect our old blogger links. Meaning that if people go to a post that you made using one of your old blogger links, then it will redirect them to the exact same post on your new site. That way, your old links will still work and you won't lose any website traffic due to broken links. So to do this, first we need to tell WordPress to match our new website links with our old blogger links. So let me show you how to do it. Just going back to our WordPress dashboard. And then what we wanna do is just go down to settings and then just go on over to general. And then just scroll down and select a new time zone. So select the time zone that you're in and the one that matches your blogger. So I'm in the Chicago time zone, so I'm gonna put that in here. And then just scroll down and click on Save Changes. Next, just going over to Permalinks down here, which is still in the settings. And then we're gonna change it to month and name. So right now it's set to custom structure. We want that to be month and name because that's what matches blogger. Okay, so now just scroll down and click on save changes. Cool, so now that we've got all of our settings matching, we need to install a plugin that will actually redirect the links. So in order to do that, just go on over to plugins and then go to add new. And then over here in the search bar, just type in blogger to WordPress. And then if we just scroll down, you'll see blogger to WordPress right here. 
and make sure it's the one that's by RT Camp. The image may be different by the time you're watching this, it might not, but as long as it's by RT Camp, this is the right one. So just go ahead and click on install now. And then click activate. Okay, so from here, now we're just gonna go on over to tools and then just go down to blogger to WordPress redirection. And then just click on start configuration. And then just scroll down and make sure that you're on the right blog, which is the same one from blogger and then just click on get code. And then just scroll down here and copy this code. And now we're just gonna head on over to Blogger and then just go down to theme. And then just go over here to this little three dots and then just go to edit HTML. So what we wanna do is replace this code. And you can save a backup if you want, just in case, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it now. So simply just hit Command A if you're on a Mac or Control A on PC and select everything and delete it. And then just paste in the new code. Just like that. And then click on Save. All right, so now all of our old links should be redirected. So let's go ahead and check them. So what I'm gonna do is just go up to a new browser window and then type in my old domain. And then hit enter. And there we go. It reverts us over to our new site, which you can see my domain right here. And this will work for every post on your website. It will revert them from the old post over to the exact same post on the new website. All right, guys, so that was how to move from Blogger to WordPress. If you found that video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button. Every like and comment means so much for my channel. And if you want more videos on how to create professional websites from home or how to make money with websites, then please subscribe to my channel. And for more updates and quick content, check us out on Instagram and on TikTok. Our community is growing every day. All right, thank you for watching. I'm Dale from Creator Pro Website, and I'll see you on the next video.